today we are going to discuss about the verification of kvl as well as verification of kcl first we go for verification of kvl okay the below one shows the circuit diagram for verification of kvl okay now in the case of kvl voltage rise is equal to the voltage drops that means this voltage is equal to the addition of these three voltages that is what we need to verify okay now for that first i am giving this connection by using the breadboard now first connect this 1 kilo ohm resistance anywhere on the breadboard thereafter this second end of the 1 kilo ohm resistance is connected to the 2.1 end okay now take this 2.2 kilo ohm resistance and place 1 kilo second end and the second terminal anywhere on the breadboard thereafter the 2.2 second end is connected to the 3.3 one end now this is my 2.2 second end now take 3.3 kilo ohm resistance and place it one end of the breadboard second end anywhere on the breadboard okay now it is connected <coughs> now connect the three voltmeters the first voltmeter in parallel with 1 kilo ohm similarly 2.2 similarly 3.3 parallel okay now take first voltmeter this is my first voltmeter and connect this in parallel with this 1 kilo ohm resistance this is my 1 kilo parallel with 1 kilo okay now take this negative terminal and connect here this is connected in parallel okay take this second voltmeter okay positive to the 2.2 one end and negative to the 2.2 second end thereafter take the third voltmeter and positive to the 3 1 3.3 one end 3.3 one end and take this negative this is connected to the 3 point second that means these voltmeters are connected in parallel with the resistance okay now see <coughs> now we need to connect the rps connection <coughs> now see in this instead of connecting negative terminal to the r1 first end I am connecting positive to the R1 first end and negative to the R3 second end. Okay. Now instead of this negative, I am connecting positive one. Remember this point, positive. Why? Because the circuit here there is a mistake. This side is positive, this side is negative. Now take positive terminal to the 1 kilo first end. Now this is my positive. Connect it to the R1 first end. Okay. And negative, see here, negative is connected to the R3 second end. Now this is my R3 second end. Okay, now we need to verify this supply voltage is equal to the addition of these three voltages. Okay, for that verification, I am going to switch on the supply. Now you can apply any voltage that is of 5 or 10 or 15 or 20, that is up to you. But for demo purpose, I am applying the 10 volts. By varying this, apply the voltage as 10 volts. Now, here this 10 volts is equal to addition of these things. Now, say 5, 1.5 plus 3.5. These two are 5, 5 plus 5 is 10. So, 10 is equal to 10, hence the KVL is very far. Now, see here this is for theoretical connection, theoretical values here 1.5, 3.36, 5.04. Now these values are verified with these values. Okay, now so these three values are verified with this. So theoretical is equal to practical. Hence the KVL is verified. Now we need to look after the KCL connection. Now for KCL, I am going to remove all these voltmeter connections. I am removing the voltmeter connections. Thereafter, I am going to connect the ammeter connections. Now see here. Here. 
I'm taking three ammeters and I'm going to I'm going to give the KCL connection that is fix up current lock. <coughs> now sir, next one is verification of KCL. Now the below circuit shows the verification of KCL. Okay. Now for that, first I'm going to connect the one kilo resistance anywhere on the breadboard. Thereafter, take ammeter positive. This is my first ammeter. So, ammeter positive is connected to the 1 kilo first end. Sorry, uh, the second end of this resistance, ammeter positive. See, here. resistance second end is connected to the ammeter positive, negative anywhere on the breadboard. So, you can connect this negative anywhere on this breadboard okay now positive and negative connections are completed thereafter see observe here this ammeter negative is connected to the 2.21 end now this is my 2.2 kilo ohm resistance now this is connected to the ammeter negative first ammeter negative this is my first ammeter negative and 2.2 kilo ohm resistance second end anywhere on the breadboard thereafter First ammeter negative is connected to the second ammeter positive. Okay. Now this is my first one. This is my second ammeter. Now second ammeter positive is connected to the first ammeter negative. Okay. Next. Second ammeter pass. Second ammeter negative anywhere on the breadboard initially. Anywhere on the breadboard. Thereafter, 3.3 is connected to the second ammeter negative. See here. This is my. This is my second ammeter negative. Now here we need to connect the 3.3 one end. Okay. Now 3.3 second end you can place anywhere on the breadboard. Okay. Thereafter. Now two ammeters are completed. Now take the third ammeter. The third ammeter is connected to the 2.2 second end. Now this is my 2.2 second end. This is my third ammeter. Third ammeter pass to is connected to the this 2.2 second end. Okay. Thereafter. Third ammeter negative is connected to the C here. 3.3 second end. Where is 3.3 second end? This is my 3.3 second end. This is my third ammeter negative. This is negative connected to the 3.3 second end. Okay. Thereafter. Now all the connections are completed except this RPS connection. Now see the RPS positive is connected to the 1 kilo first end. This is my RPS positive. Now this positive is connected to the R1 first end. This is my R1 1 kilo resistance. First end. Okay. Now see the negative connection is connected to the third ammeter negative or 3.3 second end. Now this is my third ammeter negative as well as 3.3 second end. Now here we need to connect the RPS negative. Now this is my RPS negative. Connect here vertically on the same place. Okay. This is the total connection of your case here. Okay. Now I am going to verify the result by switching on the software. Now we can apply any voltage for verification. Now for uh, demo purpose, I am applying the 10 volts. Now apply the voltage to the 10 volts. Now this is entering current. Entering current must be is equal to the leaving current. Now here 4.32 is equal to 1.8 plus 2.3. So hence 4.3 is equal to 4.3. Okay, now this is practical values. Now you can verify that result with the theoretical values. See here 4.3, 4.3, 2.58, 2.58, 1.72, 1.6. See here 4.34, 4.34, 2.58, 2.58, 1.72, 1.6. See here. Now here theoretical values are theoretical values are verified with the practical values. Hence the KCL is verified. Thank you.